Hello, I'm Jan Carabeo with your digital news brief for Sunday, October 29th. Israel's prime minister says the war with Hamas has now entered a new phase with Israeli forces on the ground in Gaza. According to defense officials in Israel, in one day, fighter jets hit more than 450 targets linked to Hamas, including tunnels and other underground infrastructure. Internet and phone service are slowly being restored after vanishing in most of Gaza amid heavy bombardment. And a U.N. agency says thousands of people have broken into aid warehouses in Gaza to take food and basic survival items. Israel's prime minister pledged to destroy Hamas and rescue the hostages. The entertainment world is mourning the loss of sitcom star Matthew Perry. The 54-year-old, best known for his role as Chandler Bing on Friends, was found dead in an apparent drowning inside of his Los Angeles home. Officers were called to that home yesterday where they discovered Perry unresponsive in a jacuzzi. That's according to the LA Times and TMZ. Both are citing law enforcement sources. An official cause of death has not yet been determined. The Philadelphia Eagles are hosting a ballot drop-off today at Lincoln Financial Field for Pennsylvania municipal elections. Registered voters are welcome to drop off their mail-in ballots from 10 a.m. until 11.30 a.m. in the K-Lot. That can be accessed from either 11th Street or Patterson Avenue. And a reminder, voters must deposit their own ballot into the ballot box. Now let's check the next for the forecast. Here's meteorologist Tammy Sousa. Hi, Tammy. Well, hello, Jan. Let's talk about the big picture here. We had 83 degrees in sunshine yesterday, and now we have a frontal boundary that's moved just to the south of us. So cooler air has come in. We'll be about 20 degrees cooler today in the low 60s. We are looking at warm air still to the south and cold air poised off to the north and the west. That moves in for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But along this boundary, pieces of energy are going to rotate. We get one piece today with some scattered showers, a little bit of a break, another piece tomorrow with scattered showers. Here's how the whole thing works out. Into the afternoon, <clears throat> we are looking at scattered showers here and there. A lot of the activity from Philadelphia north and west. We do this tomorrow morning. We're going to continue into the afternoon and evening, and then things start to clear out for a beautiful Halloween. The place that gets the most showers, far north and west. That would be the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos. The least chance of showers is going to be South Jersey and Delaware. And by the time we get into Tuesday, we clear out. Looking good, but very cold for the trick or Treaters. Here we are at 3.30 when the little ones are out and about. And please exercise caution because they're going to be running around on the roads. So uh, slow your roll and keep an eye out for them. And we're dry all the way through the evening. It is overnight we see showers building in because a coastal storm will be offshore, bringing us that chance of showers and some more clouds. Once we get past Tuesday night and early Wednesday, we dry out for the remainder of the week. And yes, that does include headed into next weekend. 64 for today in Philadelphia, 67 down the shore, and we're looking at 54. Five in the Lehigh Valley. Again, the driest spot will be down the shore, the wettest in the Lehigh Valley. 68 tomorrow, 52 for Halloween, 49 on Wednesday. Very chilly there. And the first freeze of the season could take place on Thursday morning with 32 degrees around much of the area. Jan? Here it comes. All right, Tammy, thank you. And remember, you can always get the latest news and weather headlines right here on CBSPhiladelphia.com. I'm Jan Carabeo. Have a great day.